In this video, we will create a simple node app and we will deploy it to AWS, Azure and Google Cloud. So let's create it. I will open my terminal and write npm in it. So I'll pick uh, everything uh, by default and then I will install Express. So I'll create also an index, uh, so JavaScript file index.js. Here I will uh, get express, so const express is equal require express. Then I will uh, get, so I'll create the app first, app is equal to express and app a get request to the main route. I'll add the function here that uh, it will have a request and a response. And uh, this will be very simple. I will just do response send hello world. That's it. So super simple. In the end, I will listen to port 80. So I won't start this up. So this is self explanatory, but I will start this up via a Docker container because the port 80 is just localhost and, and it may conflict your browser. So uh, let's create a Docker file. The Docker file will be very simple. So we need a node environment and the version is 15.4. So uh, we will specify a working directory. I'll call it app. Then we will copy the package.json. So package.json dot means uh, it will copy to the working directory here. So in short is dot. I will add a star here. So this will take package.json and also package-log.json. So if we do it like this, it will copy both of this. Then we will run npm install because we get it from the node environment. Then I will copy all the files there. So the first dot means all the files here and the second dot is a working directory. Then the last command is node index.js. And uh, that's it. So this is our Docker file. To build this Docker file, we have a uh, first make sure to have installed Docker and then run Docker build. Uh, we need to specify a name for this uh, Docker build. I will call it app. So this is a command to uh, pick a name for the Docker container. And then we need dot here, which means uh, this uh, context here. So it will select uh, this Docker file. And now it's building. Once it is completed, let's... So it is completed and uh, now to see the app on our browser, run docker, run, we need to specify the port which uh, we need to run. So 80 is a port inside the docker container and then the app is our app. So in our browser, I'll put uh, for eights. So if we run this command and go to localhost, port 8888, we will see hello world here. So this is uh, our uh, container. And now let's get this up and deploy it to AWS, Azure and Google Cloud. Now I will close also this uh, window because we don't need it. So I'm logged into my Google Cloud platform now and uh, we, we will use to uh, services, container registry and cloud run. So let's go to the container registry. And uh, before 
adding uh, anything here we need uh, to install a Google Cloud SDK so make sure to download the right installer for Mac OS you download it here also for Windows and Linux and also make sure to add it to your path once it is completed you can use G Cloud. So uh, I ho already have uh, my G Cloud configured and now uh, let's uh, uh, login first so in order to push containers to the google cloud registry we have to be logged in first so g cloud auth login so uh, this uh, will uh, connect with our google cloud account and uh, we will allow everything and uh, now we are logged in if we go to our uh, terminal we will see this so I'll clear now and uh, now we can uh, push our image to the docker uh, registry to the container registry story so first we have to tag the image so docker tag the name of the image is app and uh, we will tag it to google cloud registry so gcr.io slash we need the project name so if we go to our cloud platform, click uh, our project here, and uh, this is my project name. So I'll copy this ID here and uh, I'll add it here. So this is our project ID and then uh, we need the name of uh, our container. So this should be the same with uh, the last one. I tagged this and then we need to push it. So I'll remove this and we'll push it and this will push the container to our Google Cloud platform. So let's wait till it's completed. So the image is pushed. Now uh, we will see the image here. So in the container registry, we have our app image. And uh, let's go here and let's copy the URL. So I'll copy the URL here because uh, we will need it. And uh, let's go to now to the cloud run. So here we need to create a service. We need a service name. I'll call it app. Uh, the region, you can select your own region. Uh, we need the container image URL. So here we can select it directly. And this is the container, the last container that we pushed. So I'll select this and this was uh, our container. We can add some advanced settings here like variable secrets, etc. But the only thing that we will change is uh, the port. So our container port is 80. So I'll put 80 here and we don't need to change anything else there. Next. So uh, we need to allow an uh, unauthenticated invocations. So this is public. And that's it. So let's create this and let's wait till it's completed. So it should be fast. So it is completed. Not sure why I made a mistake here. Uh, the port was 76 here. It should be 80. And uh, we have uh, also a URL here. If we go to the URL, we will see our app deployed. So it was this simple. This is how we deploy an app to the Google Cloud Run. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.